Hello, 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 hello. Nobody's there. I'm going to give it a minute or a couple minutes. Hi, whoever came back or joined, welcome. This doesn't still seem right. Ooh, how are you? Let me know you're here. I saw Philomena was here and Melanie. Hello, ladies, if you are back in. How is everyone? We're going to do some card making tonight. Yay. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Nikki. How are you all? So we're going to be using this stamp set, which will, will be available January 4th out of the new mini catalog, January to June. And we're going to make a birthday card and then a um, Valentine's Day card, actually, because it has a little heart in it. And then I have an idea for a third card, another birthday card, but more masculine. And um, that one I haven't done yet. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you for sharing. You're going to Vegas for Christmas. Have fun. Wow. I'm glad you guys are joining me. Um, it says only two watching, so I hope the other two people come back at least. <laughs> Because I did announce it in Facebook and also in community. I'll just wait a minute. Well, before we get started on the cards, when I went through the pre-order the other night, I think I completely skipped this for some reason. This whole, this is a whole suite. Let me make sure I'm telling you that right. Um, let me just make sure. I can't show it to you in the catalog, but I can double check. I'm pretty sure it is a whole suite. And I really wanted to talk about it that night because it has some unusual size paper. Um, so, okay, where is it? <laughs> oh, your reunion. The whole family. Wow, that sounds like fun. My family is getting smaller and smaller. All right. I am not. Let me go somewhere else here in this book. Luckily, they put the stamp sets in alphabetical order this time in the back, which is really nice. All right. So this one will be on page 49 to 50. It is a suite called Abstract Beauty. And let me make sure I have everything I do do I do all right um, so it'll be a suite called abstract beauty available the 4th of January so here's the stamp set and die bundle it's called hello beautiful now we're not using this tonight I'll get to what we're using later let me see what's a bummer anyway um has some really cute sayings and then it's just got some abstract kind of stuff on here these look like leaves swirls splotchy things and the dies we have um what are these called hexagons and things that look like um you know beehives so they'll actually work with that other set called honeybee something or other i showed on monday night Circles with swirlies on them, and then some other circles, and then some other sort of um, not a true rectangle, rounded edge rectangle with lines on it, and a weird oval with uh, lines on it. And then also there's these hexagons, that's what they're called, hexagons, in Just Jade, Blushing Bride, yes, and black. So they'll be useful. And then the paper is, I've never, this is a new, new size of paper. It's um, Abstract Beauty 4 by 6 inch specialty designer series paper. So, and it, I think it's mostly just, um, well, no, it has patterns. It's a specialty because it's got gold foiling. Oh, that my family, yeah. Well, you know, we're all getting older. <laughs> And um, there's not that many grandkids, only two so far. And I don't know that my son will ever get married or have children. I don't know. 
maybe not in my lifetime. So anyway, uh, this is a floral. So I guess this is sort of a abstract floral, right? And, oh, that's pretty. See, I haven't even really looked at this uh, good yet. Um, I kind of just glanced at it. That's a pretty color. Let me see the colors in here are balmy blue, basic black, blushing bride, crushed curry, just jade, um, magenta madness, misty moonlight, night of navy, pumpkin pie, and basic white. So I think this is balmy blue and just jade on this one. And this is Blushing Bride and Just Jade and Gold. That's pretty, too. And then just all over kind of splatter. And then this one is Black and White and Gold. Can't really go wrong with that. And Black and... doesn't say gray, so just black... Shades of Black and White. This one's Misty Moonlight with Gold bladder. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this, but I did want to share this with you because somehow I I missed, I had it all in a stack and I missed it. And then this is a, a bold stripe, which you could actually cut and use as backing papers um, for your sentiments or something. And then this one is an abstract gold blushing bride, black and sort of gray watercolor. Black and white stripe. Smaller ones are the same, and that has foiling on some of them. And this is crushed curry with little X's. I was in Vegas several times when I was working. They used to, one of the companies I worked for used to have their, um, annual management meetings there and I was in management so I got to go I never really I won enough to make me come home not in the hole <laughs> but one of our employees actually won ten thousand dollars at a slot machine on the first try I was like whoa well that means none of the rest of us are going to win anything and of course we we really didn't gold stripes and I don't promote gambling <laughs> In fact, I don't even buy lottery tickets anymore because I feel like I'm kind of wasting my money because I'm not a I'm not a lucky person. My father used to be a lucky person. He used to win a lot. <clears throat> That's true. The humidity is not as bad. Uh, and it's a good time to go because it's not in the middle of summer out there. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. Magenta Madness and... <clears throat> I am not sure what this color is here. Excuse me a sec. <coughs> it looks sort of like the pale papaya, but it doesn't have pale papaya on here. It has, it could be a watered down pumpkin pie. It's got pumpkin pie listed on here. Anyway, then we have some gold polka dots and blushing bride dots. And then this pretty little floral with gold foiling in there too. I don't know if you can see that or not. There, a little bit. There's just little dots in between the flowers. And an old overall pink. And then this one, which I call like a birthday pattern. It's dots with little gold triangles in it. And just jade on the back. So that's the paper and it's cut to four by six. So basically you pretty much already have a card uh, you could cut this down to um, five and a quarter, and then you'd have a strip for inside your card, and there you go. So you've got pretty much instant card mats already. And there are 48 sheets of that in that paper. And then part of the suite is these abstract beauty cards and envelopes, which I haven't opened. It is pretty. Your X seems to be... I missed something. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry if I'm missing. I'm trying to get through this so we can get to the cards. I have two prepared and one we're going to... If I don't get too tired, we'll wing at the end. If I can get this open, that is. I'm trying not to 
make it too big of a mess. I want the label though. See, that's the thing for now until I figure out how I'm going to store this. Okay, so cards and envelopes. Um, are they all the same? That's, I always... No, they're different colors. They're all different abstract colors. The same colors in the papers, so you can pick your papers. And let's see the size of these are... Um, yeah, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So you can use the paper right on these cards. And then you've got envelopes here to match. I'm sure they match the card bases. So pretty cool. They match the papers for sure. Um, yeah. Very versatile. And let's see, you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes with that. And then also as part of the suite is an abstract beauty ephemera pack. And it almost reminded me of like planner um, labels because it's got like speech bubbles and stuff. But you could use them in cards, right? It's got some hearts. Oh, I wish I knew about them earlier. Hmm. Oh, well, you'll see why in a little bit. Some tabs, some hearts, some speech bubbles. Some other labels and frames you could use for scrapbooking if you do that. Leaves and flowers to match some of the paper. And then there's some on vellum. These have like three hearts and then little flags. So that is the Abstract Beauty Suite. Um, something different, which is why I got it. And uh, I always like to get something different and a new size paper, which I think will be really handy. And I like these hexagons and they're not, they're dimensional, but they're not super dimensional and they're kind of flat on top. So they're not going to, they're not going to be a problem in mailing is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now we're going to do for the record. It is a nice suite. Yeah, I like it. Blushing Bride. Yes is one of the is the pink color um and we will use that a little bit on the second card but here's the stamp set and when i was showing it monday i said because it has a heart in here it could be used for valentine's day and we're going to use it for valentine's day for the second card first card don't tell him but it's a birthday card for my son it's the first one we're going to do okay <laughs> whispering because he could be in the kitchen right below me Anyway, um, here's the card that we're going to do. And, oh, and the paper we're using on these first two cards is from the brand new available January 4th Sweet Talk designer series paper. It's from a sweet I didn't get. I got embellishments, I think, and um, just the paper. I think I just got the paper and embellishments. I could be wrong. And I only used one sheet, so I used this, the back of it, on the first card. And on the second card, I used the front of it. Um, so that's what he did. So on the second card, we're going to use Real Red and Blushing Bride. And on this card, we're using uh, Gorgeous Grape. And this is Highland Heather and Black. Because, um, you know, he's a guy, but he likes purple. Hi, honeybees. Welcome. We're just getting started on the cards. And also, I do have a host code for the month of December. Don't forget, it's last chance for um, anything out of the August to December, July to December, whatever it's called, 2021 mini. Many things are retiring. Some are carrying over, um, but some of them are carrying over right away, and some are carrying over to next year's july to december mini so if there are things you wanted from the what i'll call the holiday catalog which is not the proper term you need to see if they're still available and get them now while they you know while they are because after december i don't think you'll be able to get many of them <laughs> so anyway this is a card and um we're also going to use this mary melody 3d embossing folder this is in the the mini holiday catalog but it is carrying over to 2022 
So I'm going to use that because I thought, you know, it's got music, treble clefs and things on it. So I embossed this little piece here, which is this piece is cut five by five and a quarter by four. So this is four by a little bit more than two and a half. It's like two and a half and a and an eighth um, because I the way I cut the paper. And then this is stamped in Memento Tuxedo Black. Now there's a couple options if you want your record to be shiny. I just stamped it and used um, Winko Stella. But we also have Shimmery Crystal Effects if you want to wait a long time for it to dry. Which would make it really glossy. Or you could use um, black paper. And stamp with Versamark, which we're going to do if we have time for the third card. And see how that turns out. I haven't tried that yet. But I think that would be cool. Basic black cardstock with clear embossing powder uh, with this. Um, and then we also are using the layering circles. Now, I'll show you this when we go to stamp it. I use the, the second largest circle because the... The largest one, I think I used the second largest. Yeah, the largest one le would leave a little bit of white. The, the second largest one leaves, it cuts off a little bit of the record, but I was okay with that. I'd rather have that and not have the white edges. Now, when I do it on black cardstock, I'll probably use the largest one because it'll be black anyway. So anyway, that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so let me put that there and let's get started. I have, I think, already run this through the embossing folder. And when I did it, um, only this side here has the treble clef on it. So I made sure I ran it through so that the... A treble and bass clefts and things would would I don't know if you can see that would show the treble and bass clefts if you know music at all uh, sheet music I don't know what they do nowadays with no sheet music <laughs> you know? oh thank you for the thumbs ups too guys all right so and then oh and on in the inside I just I used a stripe going the other way and I stamped you're awesome in memento and happy birthday all out of the same stamp set um, in the gorgeous grape. So that's what we're going to do. All right. And I used this glittered organdy ribbon and I I can't I think this is in the annual catalog. So it's good until um, met through May anyway at while supplies last pretty sure because this carried over from last year i don't know if it'll carry over going forward not sure all right so the first thing we're going to do is put um our ribbon down and to do that okay so again this is cut to five and a quarter by four yell at me if i'm not in frame hi honeybees hello hello <laughs> Um, and this is going to be our front, and I want it about a little bit two-thirds up. Um, I'm going to use seal. You just put some here and over here. And honestly, that's pretty much all I use seal for anymore. Okay, now let me flip this around and see... I want it about, I kind of want it to go over this, this stripe here. I don't know, just preference. You can do it however you would like. I didn't want it to be like a bow because I didn't want it to be real frou-frou-y since it's for somebody that's not frou-frou-y. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to glue that down onto the card front and as soon as I find my glue I'm fine okay thank you <laughs> thank you Cindy I thought it was cute and I need it because 
Sunday is my son's birthday. And my daughter messaged me and said, are you doing anything special? I'm like, well, it's not a big birthday, so I wasn't going to have a party or anything. But now I'm thinking because it's on a weekend, maybe I should do it this year. and not ne Next year is a bigger one, bigger birthday. And um, so I was kind of thinking I'd do something next year, but next year it'll fall on a Monday. Oh, well. I don't know. All right, let's get our stamps. We need... This is for the inside. Oop. Now we have to put this down. And I'm just going to glue that down as well. And I just put it so that there's about a quarter inch of the paper showing over here. Just to have a little music playing in the background of the record. <laughs> I like music. And I still have a whole collection of 33s, the big final I probably should should get rid of them soon and I made sure I didn't put it upside down so we have our cleft signs over here travel cleft whatever now I think let me see which one of these is smaller okay they're both the same size so it doesn't matter we're gonna stamp our record and we're gonna stamp it with memento Um, and that is a, <clears throat> a 3D embossing folder. So when you use the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine, I always forget the name of it. Um, you have to use the, the large plate one and plate four only. I see I have missed a few spots. You could, probably would be better to do this on the Stamparatus, but kind of got lazy and didn't want to oh well and then i'm just gonna put it here i'm putting it over to the side only because that way i can cut this off and have you know for sentiments and things there the extra <laughs> you all ready for the holidays i got upset today because I ordered some something it's for my neighbor gifts on the 6th of December. It's not perfect, but it'll do for this purpose. And I'm just cleaning my stamp. Um, it just shipped. And it's shipped. They said it shipped FedEx, but then they told me it wouldn't get here till the 23rd. I'm like, are you kidding me? All right, now I thought I had a strip cut, but apparently I don't. Um, I need a three-quarter inch wide. Here, this, this is, I think, the right size. Yep, and to about here. And I'm going to cut that down to, um, let's see, that's five and a quarter, about... I'm going to go, let's see if that's right. I'm going to go to four and a half. I can, and then I'm going to flag it anyway after I stamp. So, so this is three quarter by so far four and a half. Um, and this we're going to cut out with our second smallest, or second largest, I should say. And you see it fits right on there. But it is cutting off some of the record. Not much. I don't, I'm okay with that because you really can't tell when it's on the card. Right? But before we do that, let's stamp. And I'm stamping that in Memento also because I didn't want it to be too, too purpley. You know? We have enough purple on the card. For the record. So if we make the third card tonight, which I'll be winging, um, we will have used all the stamps in this set. I hope that's straight. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yay. Happy, happy. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to use the um, everything's falling. Whatever this is called, banner pick a punch to do the flag on this side over here. Yeah. Or if you have the triple banner punch, which is retired, I think, um, you could use that too. And that's going to go right about there. Perfect. It's a little bit shorter than the other one, but that's okay. All right, let me die cut this and then we'll get that done. I'll be right back. So while I'm doing this, I will not be going live next week because yeah, too, too close to the holidays, too much going on, presents to be wrapped, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> and I have, um, I do have the catalogs in the overnight envelopes. I just have to put cards and a little letter I typed up in, so they're going to go out tomorrow. But they're going priority mail, so people should get them early next week, hopefully, if the mail service um, works okay. Okay, now, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use Highland Heather Dark, and I'm going to color in this heart with my Stampin' Blends. So you can use colored pencils. I'm pretty sure we have a gorgeous grape in that, too. Or you don't even have to color it in. Or another option is you could actually cut out um, a heart out of the designer paper and put it over top of this if you wanted to. I almost did that for the second card, but I did something different, which I'll, I'll show you when we get there. And then we're going to use Wink of Stella. Ooh, juicy Wink of Stella. I think I added alcohol to it a while back and it's um, a little runny. I should just bite the bullet and open a new one. <laughs> but I like to use my product till it's completely gone. So. I don't know if you knew that, but if you if your Winkastel is getting a little dry, you can pull this whole black this tip out and put a little bit of alcohol in there, isopropyl alcohol, and renew it a little bit. Right, I have to I have to wrap. I don't have as much this year to wrap, but I still have stuff to wrap, and um. I had hoped to have that done by now, but I don't. Anyway, it's okay. I'll do that on Monday. Because <laughs> I have to, except for one, then I have to do something for my son. All right. This is going to get glitter on here, but that's okay. Now, I put a dimensional in the middle. And one on each side of it. And then one in each side the other direction. And that should be enough, really. All right. Now, I think we have gorgeous grape pearls, but I chose to use the matte black dots from the annual catalog. Instead, um, you can use whatever embellishment you would like. And I put it so that the heart the center of the heart is sort of lined up with that, um, the center and the tip with the, um, I'm going to use the bottom of my dimensional sheet to push that down with the edge of the embossed part. Okay, and then this, we're just going to do quite a few actually, because I don't like my, my things to sag. I know a lot of people don't do that, but I do. 
I have one more. Oh, I have two more on there. Okay, that's enough. I have one more left. Then I'll have to start a new pack. Hi, Nex. Thank you, Cindy. I think it's cute. And then we have to do the inside as well. And then the next, this is a birthday card, obviously. Well, not obviously from the front. You can't really tell, right? Okay, and then my inside paper is here. It's going to go like this, and I'm just going to put this stripe here. But before I do that, let me stamp. Um, and I used these two. Now, you could also use this. I'm going to use that on the second card. For this one, I just decided to use paper that matches. I could actually put it... I think on this one, I'll put it across the top because it goes the same direction that way. I really like this. It's a standalone stamp set, and the paper um, is um, part of the new sweet talk set and they'll be in the january to june mini catalog effective january 4th uh i kind of stopped sort of i'm using papers and stuff in the current catalogs but um that are, much of which is retiring from the current mini catalog this is not from that but um i'm going to be switching gears to the new catalog plus the annual because I have a lot of stamps from the annual catalog, and I want to use them before uh, they retire. Okay, so on the inside, I did You're Awesome in Memento. And I wasn't going to glue that down until I put this on, so I have to get this straight now. Oh, or fairly straight. <laughs> I'm standing up. Am I in frame? Yes. All right. Eh, I got a little splotchy, but oh well. It'll work. And this is gorgeous grape. Maybe what I'll do. I want to test that first, too. Yeah. I got a little much ink on there. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, it looks like a little line in between the words. Okay, you're awesome. Happy birthday. And that is really the first card. Let me um, clean my stamps, put my embossing folder away. So again, I use the 3D Mary Melody embossing folder which is um, in the current mini catalog, the holiday one, ending December. Well, technically ending January 3rd or something like that. But I would get it now because people may be buying up. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's glue that in and then we're done. And now we have embellishments put on. And then we're done. Card number one. <laughs> Been a while since I... Done card making live with you guys. <laughs> I'm out of practice. And um, I had done this. Um, this is a little smaller. This is five by three and three quarter. Yeah, I'm not happy with that smudge, but you know, you'll do better than me. Okay. Now the embellishments I have here somewhere. Hang on. Here they are. Are in the annual catalog. They're the matte black dots. They were in the 2020 holiday catalog, and they carried over. They're in the current annual catalog. I'm going to use my pokey tool. This record is warped. It wouldn't play very well. <laughs> I'm just going to put this little black one in here. And two little black ones over here. And couple more large ones on. I think I have a cat hair on that one. 
Let's put one there. And I put one up there. And now it's finished. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. I appreciate that. So there's our first card. Now we're going to switch gears. We're going to actually use the same paper, but we're going to use the other side of it. That'll be less warped. And I would recommend if you decide to use the shimmery crystal effects, use thick whisper white. I used um, basic, not whisper, basic white. I used um, just the regular one. So I might want to use that even with the Wink of Stella or, yeah, or even shimmery white paper would be good. Um, yeah. Okay. So let me put my dies away. No, I need them. Okay. So the next one, like I said, we're going to use the other side of the paper. And here it is. So. I made some hearts and I embossed them. I stamped the record in Blushing Bride and colored it in in real red and did real red on the, for the record. And I actually had tied a bow in the um, mini ruffled ribbon, which is carrying over, but it was a little too bulky for me. So I used the Playful Pets Combo Pack Real Red Stitch Grow Grain Ribbon which is in the annual catalog on page 140. And I did these hearts with the Heart Punch Duo, which is still in the annual catalog. I only used the, um, the scalloped one. It's item 151292, which we have to do. And then I embossed those with um, the Dotty Hearts embossing folder set. But I used uh, the one that just had random hearts all over it. So I have dotted hearts on the hearts. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. A little bit. And I did put Wink of Stella on um, the hearts but and the center heart, but not the actual record this time. So I need the punch. I need some real red paper. Yeah, I didn't get that keep that out am I going too fast <laughs> hope not thought I had some real red paper out but I guess I used it all up I don't know if it'll fit on this one. Oh, this might have been it I think this is too small Okay, I might have to cut a piece of paper because all my scraps are small. And I don't think I have any real red cardstock cut. Nope. Did any of you stock up on the cardstock sale? I did. I got some packs of color families, you know, to stock up on when they had it in whenever it was. Um, so I'm going to cut one of these. I'm going to cut it at five and a half, which I'll set aside to use for a different card base. And then this one, I'm just going to cut, um, so it's five and a half. I'm going to cut it to four and I'll set that aside and then I'll use this for my scrap. Okay. We need two of those. You could probably emboss this a piece first and then die cut them, but I did or punch them, I mean, but I did it the other way around. <laughs> yeah, the colors in the paper are really pretty. It, it covers up some of them, but um, it's cute. It's got Highland Heather. Um, I don't, I can't remember if that's, I think that's Bermuda Bay. I don't remember what that is. Blushing Bride, Real Red. It's a pretty Valentine's paper. And the, the other paper, if you missed it, I showed it on Monday Night's Live. But um, it's called Sweet Talk. It's got like the candy hearts with the hug me, love you, text me, you're cute, that kind of BFF. 
Um, just seeing if there's any other ones. That's mostly it. So it's really cute paper, and you've got some candies. This would have been a cute one to use for this card, too. But since I already cut into this, this paper, that's what I used. And then we have some other stripes and things. So, yeah, I mean, I went through that on Monday. All right, I'm going to run these together through this embossing folder. And the thing about this embossing folder is you can see where I, where I did, actually. Um, you can use either the part, it like puts the dots in or the raised. And I think on this card we're making now, I'm going to use the raised part of it just so you can see the difference. Hi, Renee. Welcome. All right, so this is not a 3D. So what you do is you use your big plate one. You don't use your plate two. And you use your regular um, plates, two plate threes, okay? And then you just zip it on through. There you go. Out the other side. Bring it over, and I'll show you what I mean about the dots. Okay. So this side just has the indented dots, and this side has the, now if you can see it, it's raised up more. And I'm going to use that side this time, because I think it actually will show up a little better on the card. So we have that. We have to stamp our record and our for the record again. And here's our colored paper, which is five and a quarter by four. And then I have another five and a quarter by four plain white for the inside for later. Um, okay, so we need, let's stamp the for the record first. And I used real red for that because I just thought it showed up better. Got quite the mess going on here, don't I? Let me move this out of the way. And I have two shots for this. This is a nice big bold for the record. I really like it. I like this stamp. I tried to buy some unusual stamp sets, you know, things that aren't flowers and stuff like that, because I like flowers a lot, but I have a lot of them already. I don't know if I got that straight or not, but we'll see. I'm going with it. <laughs> I am going with it. Since I have the real red out, we're going to do the inside too. And this is what I did on the inside. Now, um, we're going to stamp this. I'll do it the same way. But if I had made this paper the five by three and three quarter, this would have fit all the way. But it's okay. I don't. I don't mind it. And then actually, what I did is I used a retired product. So shame on me. If you have these resin hearts embellishments from i think the january to june mini last year with white and red i actually i think these were out of the um snail mail suite if i'm not mistaken from last year's annual something like that anyway whatever the snail mail suite was in um these were in that now they're retired so i used them only on the inside <laughs> um i cheated you don't have to put anything on there. It looked fine the way it was, but uh, I'm going to use Blushing Bride to stamp that. And this is the stamp. I thought maybe it would look like, you know, part of a record player, but mm, I didn't. I didn't get that vibe, so I want to do want to get it a little closer to the edge this time, though. Mm, it's crooked. I'm gonna do it this way. 
I should have stamped my sentiment first. I guess I won't worry about it being too close to the edge. All right, that's going to have to do. I don't have any more paper cut. <laughs> All right. And for this one, we're using the I Really Like You stamp. Because I think, for the record, I Really Like You makes a really cute Valentine's Day card. Or just any time you want to send somebody some hearts. And it's a little crooked, but we're going with it, too. <laughs> I did better the first time. I need the Blushing Bride still. I don't need the real red anymore. And I need the record. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. All right, so that's for the inside. Now we're going to stamp on this piece. Let me clean this off a little better first because it has a color on there that I don't want on my card. Actually, I'm going to take the ink to the stamp because it's a larger stamp. And if you're making a bunch of these, definitely put it in the Stamparatus so you can, you know, get us consistent um it's really hard to, with the other darker colors it's easy to see that you got good coverage not as easy to see when you have blushing bride okay pretty good i'd say put my ink away and die cut that and then we can ensemble I think now you know what before I do that I'm going to put the wing of Stella on these so they sort of dry by the time we go to assemble the card <laughs> hi Clay welcome um for those of you that were asking I think Clay was you that asked for the otter card that'll be on the 30th just didn't have time to make two different stamp sets today. So I'll use that one and probably the wildflowers for NYX. They're both new also. Um, I'll use them on the 30th. I'll be doing another live then. Okay. All right. So I need my circles again, which are still out over here. And I'm still going to use the second largest one for this one. And I'm using washi tape to hold it down to try and get it centered. So at least my heart's in the center, right? <laughs> Oops, I think that just slipped. Yep. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, thank you. Glad it's okay. <laughs> but I will do them. I actually have, I pulled out some things to go with it. I just didn't get around to making that today. Um, but I want to do several cards with that too. Eh. My plate's stuck. All right. Oh, gosh. How in the world did I do that? Because I put them in crooked, that's why. There we go. Don't put your plates in crooked. <laughs> All right. And see, it just leaves a little. I didn't have it exactly even, but I didn't the first two times either. I'm going to leave my circles here. Put that over there. And let's color our heart in with light, real red. You can use dark if you want to. This is the card we're making for those that came in late. And we already made a birthday card as well. This one's a, more of a Valentine's Day. But it actually doesn't say 
Happy Valentine's Day. If you wanted it to, and you have the, I think it's called the Well Written or something like that, there is a Happy Valentine's Day sentiment in that. So you could use that, but I, or probably if you have some old paper pumpkins, you have that too or other sets from last year's, I'm sorry, this year's January to June mini Valentine sets. But I didn't get, I don't think I got any Valentine sets this past year. So I actually don't, I only have the one Happy Valentine's Day right now. Well, maybe Paper Pumpkin. Okay, so we have our hearts. Let's start to assemble. This gets glued down first. And then the, the last card we will have time because it's only 753 is going to be a winging it card. And that's going to be using a different paper and be more masculine looking, hopefully. If I get it to look right, you can help me make it. <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs ups, everyone. Okay, and we'll put this on too. Actually, yeah, I didn't flag this one. So I think this is three and a quarter by three quarter, and this is three and a half by one inch, in case you're wondering. On the first card, I think it's the same size, yes. And I did put that up on dimensionals. And I just happened to have um, a strip, which will work pretty well on here. <laughs> Use your edges of your, oops, of your dimensionals. And then I'll cut that, put this one over here. Cut that part off, stick that right in the middle. There we go. I'll need to get some more out for my record, but. Okay, so that's gonna go centered down toward the bottom. And then, this will go right in the middle. Oh, I forgot to put the Winkastella on the inner heart. Or you could use the shimmery crystal effects too. I almost did that on the records, but I thought they'll never get dry in time. This is what I'm talking about. It's in the annual catalog. It's like for those of you who um, don't know Stampin' Up that well. It's sort of like, um, oh gosh, glossy accents, only it has shimmer in it. Okay. Now we're just going to glue these down one at a time. Let me get my placement right. And then this will go on top like that, and then we'll do a little bow. Okay. <laughs> Another advantage to having the bumpy part of the of the embossed hearts um, up instead of down. Where's that piece? I'm going to use the piece from the dimensionals because that might still be a little wet. Um, with from the um, Winkastella, is that um, it lays it it glues down flatter. Um, you know what I mean? It's smooth on the back, so you can glue it down easier. Um, whereas the one on this one, the ridges are underneath, and they did stick up a little more, especially that one. Um, so, yeah. Now let me see if I have more dimensionals here somewhere. I'm sure I must. That's a self-adhesive sheets. So that's not... Here we go. I have to open a new pack. I think. Yeah, those are minis. 
Okay, new pack of dimensionals on the way. And yeah. these I go through pretty much. And um, I really stand by Stampin' Up's dimensionals. They're my faves. I've used other ones and they're either too high or not high enough. I just prefer Stampin' Up's. Even if I wasn't a demonstrator, I prefer theirs. They're worth, a, and they're really not that much more than other places that sell them. Other than, you know, maybe Dollar Tree, but you get what you pay for. Okay. And then this goes right here. And then what I used, now there, there was a set of um, gems, which I thought I had, which had red, pink, and white on them. Um... I don't know if they're in the annual catalog or not, but I have the red rhinestone basic jewels, which have been around forever and are still in the annual catalog. Um, and I'm using those because they go with it and they're sparkly <laughs> and I just like them. And it seems like all the holiday ones are not real red. They're all like... Um, I'm using five, by the way. They're all like cherry cobbler or something. Like the holiday rhinestones. That one is hanging on there. Probably by a cat hair or a deb hair. I don't know. I'm putting them down lower this time, too. Apparently. Here we go. And one more. Uh, maybe over here this time. Right in there. Okay. Yeah, they're cherry cobbler. I'm very sad that the cherry cobbler and gold ribbon is retiring. I don't know why they keep bringing out more real red, uh, like the real red satin uh, sheer, which is pretty, but I really like having the, um, let me glue this in and then we'll do our ribbon on the outside. I really liked having some cherry cobbler ribbon for a change. Anyway, that's just me. I don't make decisions for the company. Okay. So for the record, I really like you. That makes a cute Valentine's card, right? Or even just a, you know, I really like you. But I'll use it for a Valentine's card for a little someone. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Philomena. You're betting on cat? Mm, not sure what you mean. All right, you know, I'm not the best bow tire, right? Especially with slippery ribbon. Anyway, skinny slippery ribbon with not so skinny fingers anymore. <laughs> okay. Good enough. I'll, I'll um, fix it up a little bit after I snip it. I want the bows to be a little littler, a little littler, a little smaller and tighter. And that's just going to go right here. And I'll put that on with the glue dot and then I'll snip the ends off a little more. And I also really like Stampin' Up's glue dots. Amazing what we... Um, what we like. <laughs> we get used to them and then I don't like other ones. Now this ribbon, I usually put a, a pin in my ribbons, but this one is so thin. I just put a piece of regular scotch tape kind of stuff on there, whatever brand tape you have. Clear tape. Um, and you see this one is a little wiggly here, so I'm actually going to stick another little glue dot in there. Roll it up a little bit. And lift that little tail up and stick it in there. That way, that one won't pull out either. There's a little trick. And about four. One more. There. 
a little longer, I think, but there. There they go. There's those, and here's our first one for those that missed it. This one's a birthday card for the record. You're awesome. Happy birthday. And this one is more Valentine's. I'm not going to put the... Well, maybe I will, but I'll do it later because those are retired. Um, I really like you. For the record, I really like you. So cute, right? So I thought the idea I have for the next one... Um, let me put these down here somewhere. Um, I wanted to bring in Early Espresso and paper from In Good Taste. And I think, okay, this is a vertical card. Well, I think we'll do it this way. We'll make it horizontal, but a different, different cut. And we'll have paneling. Um, I think we'll use the Merry Melody again and have maybe some crumb cake or something on here. I'm not sure yet. And then I want to use black and stamp with emboss uh, Versamark and emboss it with clear embossing powder for the record. Let's try that and see. But let me cut this first. And this is from the annual catalog. It's in good taste. I don't want that big. I'm going to use this side though. So I'm going to cut it to four. I still have quite a bit of that paper left. So I need to use it up for the end of um, the annual catalog because. Uh, and I'm cutting it to five and a quarter. Standard card size, right? Um. Because it already has carried over once. And I doubt it will carry over again. I don't know. I can't read mine there again. Let's go ahead and stamp first. Um, I'll make this a birthday card also. I'm trying to see if I have a scrap of black big enough to cut out that record. But I don't think I do. Here. Oh, well, this is this. Yes, I do. Yay. I have so many black scraps, but they're all little. Let me get this. And let me get first the mark. And let me find my clear embossing powder. Tub. And the numbers on here are now wrong because they sell it in a different setup, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, um, I thought it was cute. So I needed some different things, you know, I just felt like I needed something different. So I think it's pretty versatile. And I have one more idea for it, but we're not going to get to it tonight. Um, I'll just put it right in the middle. Now on this one, I'm going to use the large, the largest uh, layering circle, the plane, after I emboss this. And I didn't put the, um, I didn't put the powdery stuff down, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all good, since we're going to die cut it out anyway. Somewhere in here, I have a little scoopy thing. And you know what? I am going to put a scrap of paper down just in case. Two. Cover it up pretty good. Hopefully this works. And if not, we'll go back and use white paper with... Um, I think it'll be fine. It looks pretty good, right? All right, close that up. All right, I'm gonna make noise, guys. Am I plugged in? I am plugged in, I think. Yes. I'm gonna bring it down away from the microphone just so it doesn't make screeching noises at you, hopefully. 
that is two that's two little pots and heating the bottom and now the top here we go and I'll bring it up so you can see the magic the magic Ready for the noise. And then we'll just let that cool for a minute. Yep, I think that turned out okay. I like it. It really looks like a vinyl. Might have missed a spot down here. Hang on. Yep. Okay, better. Better. I'll let that cool for a minute and I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. <laughs> um, I do think I want to use that Mary Melody embossing folder again. Kind of like I did with the first one, you know, just have a strip. I think I'll just do it on um, the same color, though. I don't think I'll use crumb cake now. That said, I need to find that color. Again, hang on. Uh, early Espresso is the color. Well, let me just bring a couple colors and see what I like. If I can find them all. <laughs> Excuse me. Use Early Espresso. I'm looking for a crumb cake. Here it is. <sighs> oh, that's great granite. No, I'm going to just use Early Espresso again. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I have a piece that's sort of a scrap? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Drink of water. Maybe I inhaled embossing powder. So this is four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this to four by about two and a half. All right. That'll work. That'll work. We'll see if I like it once I get the record on. Um, let's die cut that first, actually, and we'll see before I emboss that paper. You accidentally bought a second set of Smoky Sleep. Well, that's okay. Keep them for <coughs> if the other ones go dry or if you want to try and exchange them, you can call customer service and see. Uh, I don't know if they'll do that now or not because it's been a while, but um, you can try. Um, they might. You like it? Cool. Thanks, Cindy. Vinyl record look. Yeah. How oh, really? Oh, yeah, they, oh, they're making them transparent now? Wow. Well, I guess you could do this on vellum, too, right? Let's see, I remember I said if you use the largest circle, you're going to get some edge around it, and you do. But it's okay because it's the same color as the record on here. All right, let me die cut this. And Clay, back to this, I actually don't recommend doing this. I did this because all the other demonstrators I saw were doing it. 
it takes up more room for me and I don't have room to take up. So I actually prefer to leave it in the little pots, you know, the, these size little pots and just use a coffee filter or a piece of paper and then pour it back in your little pot. It takes up a lot less storage room than this container. And if I still had the pots for those, I probably would <laughs> pour them back in those pots. So, but I don't, I dumped it in there and got rid of the pot. So until, and it lasts a good long time. You really only need, you know, one little pot for a long time, um, which might be the reason that Stampin' Up! combined that. Now let's see how that looks. Yeah, see, that looks, that looks like a record, right? It has a little dull edge where the, the die didn't go, but that's okay. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just put a little wink of Stella in this part of the heart inside the embossing there. But now the real test is going to be, am I going to like this design with black on that? Maybe if, and I, if I stamp in Memento... Again, um, maybe on Very Vanilla, though, I think. Let's see if I have any Very Vanilla scraps. <laughs> I'm sure I do. I think I have any Very Vanilla scraps. Hmm. But I need three-quarter inch. I can cut one of these down, maybe. Ooh, that one looks like it is. Yeah, I like that better. Maybe would I like that to be lighter or just left off? I don't know if I like the very vanilla, actually. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to emboss that. Well, let's stamp for the record on here and see if we like it or not. Oops. Get rid of my person mark. Yeah, I was, um, you know what? Hang on. Maybe we just need a little sparkle behind there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we just need some of this brand new ribbon. And I think I liked it better with this on there, but <sighs> put it under that like that, maybe. And this down here. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not liking that either. Which one do you love, Nikki? The ribbon or just the, like this? Or I was thinking, let me, um, I never found crumb cake. Let me find that. I know I have it here. It's hiding from me. I don't know where it's hiding. There you are. Here's crumbly cake. Of course I don't have a scrap small enough for that either, but let me just look at the color with a swatch like and see if I like that any better. Nah. I like the darker. All right, I'm going to go with the darker. <laughs> You're going, ooh, ooh. Opposite ribbon was nice. Opposite the rectangle. All right. So, like, what if we just have it? The rectangle is going to be textured, too, though. How about I have it sticking out either side? 
I'm going to cut a little long just to <clears throat> either side have that bumped up. I kind of like that. And actually, maybe I could have the record on here this time. And then very vanilla. Nah. I like the record better over here. Something like that. What do you think? And I do see this is more white now, so I think we'll go with the white. Like that? You like the crumb cake. All right, let me find <laughs> This is funny. Um, let me cut a piece of crumb cake that's the right size so I can tell better. Kind of was liking the crumb cake with it better too, but I don't know. All right, so four by two and a half. This is why I usually prepare things and not wing it, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. It's the fun part, right? I think I like the crumb cake better too, and with it textured and maybe um, darkened around the edge. Do you know what I mean? I'll take an early espresso marker and darken it around the edge. All right, that's what I'm going to do. And then I actually think I'm going to use a strip of crumb cake to stamp on as well for the sentiment if I can find one that's about three quarter inch half inch is too small well if you're good at stamping better than I am it's probably all right there we go <laughs> and I'll stamp with black and that'll bring in the actually I might stamp with early espresso do that first and see if we like that yet and for the record for the record and I do have I have early espresso ribbon um I thought about putting on there too maybe hang on I'm going to try it with early espresso on the other, I mean, um, magenta on the other side, because I feel like I need to pull in some black. Oh, I know what I could do. I could emboss with black ink on the crumb cake. <laughs> uh, not, you know, embossing folder emboss, not heat emboss. Yeah, I'm going to go with the memento on the sentiment on crumb cake. Oops. See my stamp. Put my early espresso away temporarily. And start and bring in that other ribbon. Um, or we have the sparkly ribbon. No, that's too much. Um, um, um. um. One second. Here it is. Is this still current? Uh, yes, it is. This is the early espresso um, faux suede ribbon, right? Maybe I could put that down as a stripe on here. That would make it like a record player, right? Have this over here flagged a little bit. I think I'm going to put this down. Okay, I made a decision. I'm going to emboss this first. <laughs> and then I'm going to actually glue two strips of ribbon down either side of it. So it really doesn't matter if I have the treble clefts and stuff on there this time. Um, and then we'll put the record on and the for the record will bump up. And... Um, I stamped that in Memento Tuxedo Black also, and I'll flag this because that end is a little wonky anyway. Okay, even better. All right. Yeah, it just takes me a while to get to where I want to go sometimes with my creativity. It's coming back a little bit. Um, 
little bit. Okay. Get rid of that. Get that there. Pick up the plate I dropped. My kitty was up here while I was, she, she was my creative uh, tutor mentor earlier today, I guess. But she's not up here now. She's probably on my son's lap. Okay, now I am going to put this down either side like this. What am I going to put it down with? Glue dots. Because the ribbon is thinner than the uh, tape runner. What do we call it? Seal. It's thinner than a seal. I'm just going to put three dots on here. You do have to be careful doing this too because um, you can actually tear your paper. I got that one over a little far. Kind of want that right on the edge. I think I want it on both sides. I'm going to try it. Make it look sort of like the stereo box or something, the record player box, right? So I'm just putting it one in the corner, one in the middle. Oops, see that pulled the paper. Ah. And one at the very bottom corner. There we go. Alrighty. This is really nice ribbon. I would suggest stocking up on that too. I should heed my own advice, but I really like this. Um, and I forget about it sometimes. The faux suede ribbon. All right, let me get this glued down. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> you like the ribbon? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'll, I'll put some kind of gems on here. I'm sure I have something that'll look nice. I'll definitely put some gems on here. And I'm just going to glue this down too. Because we're going to bump the record up. And to have the notes going the right way. I don't know if they are or not. No, I had it right the first time. Bring it over a little bit like that. Okay, dimensionals. Where did I put you? Here you are. Get rid of those scissors before I poke myself. I definitely recommend doing the record on the basic black with embossing powder. It actually feels a little thicker. Uh, of course, like I said, you could do it on thick white or thick berry vanilla or any color cardstock you really want to use. That one, the label, the thingy came off already. All it's missing is the little arm to play the record. <laughs> and I have to put that up high enough that there's room for this. And I need to do this. So it's really the same design as the um, the first card, except that it opens a little differently. Now I need to cut that down a little bit. Excuse me. I don't know what it is. I think maybe the dry air has been getting to me lately. And I could put um, 
Now see, now I feel like I need a piece of that under there, I do. It only has to be longer than that. I'm not gonna bother, because I didn't leave enough room top to bottom for it anyway. Oh, I know what I said I was gonna do. Take my Early Espresso marker and go around the edge. Or you could take a sponge and your sponge dauber and your Early Espresso ink pad and do the same thing, just to give it a little bit of an edge look. You make it pop a little bit when it's on that part of the crumb cake. See if that does anything. Yeah, it makes it show up. Well, you could also use black around it. And if you have the black, um, what do you call them? Dimensionals. They would be good for this too. Hi, Jan. Welcome. I'll show you the other two cards when I'm done this one. So you can see, this is a this is a wing it card. The other two I prepared ahead of time and to make. So this way we're getting three cards out of this. We're going to use a different sentiment than we did on the other one on the inside. All right, now let me get gems first. And I did. I shouldn't have put one right there because it's on that ribbon and it's bumping up a little bit. Okay, let's see what we have in the way of gems. Gemmies. All kinds. Um, we have, I don't want to use gold, maybe. These clear with a little bit of gold in might be all right. Or we have the matte black like we used on the first card. Or we have the brand new classic matte dots, but I want to use those matte ones up first. All right, let me see. In here, we just have these clearish ones or these sort of whitish ones. I'm not thrilled with those. Mm, or gold. Or just maybe rhinestones. Let's see what I have in the, that, that bin. I need a better system for my, for my um, gems and stuff. We have the round clear dots. We could just use those. Or we have the basic rhinestones. And we have champagne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I have a lot of champagne now. Mm -hmm. Or we have opal rounds. I'm leaning towards either these white with a little bit of gold in them because that sort of looks like the crumb cake or the champagne actually. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know, Jen. I'm having the same trouble with my 17-year-old teenage granddaughter. <laughs> it's just so hard. The 8-year-old is better. Um, okay, and I think between these two, I think I'm going to go with these because I think that color is more like the crumb cake. So... Let's put one in the center of the record, right in the center of that heart, and see. Maybe I would have liked to, yeah, I think that'll be all right. And a little one over here, and another one over here, and then a couple larger ones, and then maybe there. 
one there. I think that's all I'm going to put on it, actually. And then inside, we're going to stamp You're My Favorite Song. Um, do I need another piece of white, don't I? Eh, I don't think I have another piece of white. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I need to cut another piece of paper. Actually, I'll use crumb cake on the inside because, you know, why not? Except, where's that piece I cut? Oh, here we go. This, is, this will work, right? Yes. Just have to cut it down a little bit. Five and a quarter. And we'll use the stripey thing again in early espresso. You think I need more gems on there? Do they show up okay? Should I have used black gems? I don't think so. I think it'll be all right. All right, I'm gonna use early espresso. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I thought you were getting them a, a bike or something. All right, so this time we're going to put it on this edge. Maybe. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I like the gold too. I maybe should have used like a regular gold that might have shown up a little better. Oh, leave that open. And you're my favorite song. So you can send this to your favorite anybody, really. I had to stand up to do this to try and get it sort of straight. All right. I think I need to re-ink my... Um, Early Espresso. That is the third card once I put it in. I feel like I'm missing something on here. Maybe. I don't know. Let's glue this on the inside first and then I'll think about that some more. <laughs> but basically, between all three cards, we used every stamp in the set, all the sentiments. The record three times. And they're all very different looks. So I'm happy with that. I feel like I got good use out of the stamp set already. So let me bring back in the other cards as soon as I find them. And help me think, what am I missing on that? Here's the first card we did. The birthday card. It's in gorgeous grape. And um, the paper I used on the first two, again, is the Sweet Talk paper, uh, available January 4th. It's, in a, it's out of a suite called the Sweet Talk Suite. It'll be on pages 8 and 9 of the new mini catalog when you get it. And it's got hearts and things. It looks, this, the paper I used tonight is this one, and the reverse of it has the purple stripe. So the next card has the hearts. All right. So that's that one, and it says, you're awesome, happy birthday on the inside. And then this one I made into a Valentine's Day. I used the scalp heart punch from the heart punch duo, embossed it with the dotty hearts embossing folder. This used that same melody one. Stamped this in Blushing Bride, used the second largest, um... Layering circle to cut both these out. Colored this center heart in with a real red light. And this one in with Highland Heather. Actually, this one I colored in in Highland Heather light. And this one I colored in in Highland Heather dark. So you can see the difference. So the Highland Heather light um, Stampin' Blend matches the Highland Heather paper better. And the Highland Heather dark 
really matches the gorgeous grape. I used the black sparkle ribbon, stamped the sentiment in um, Memento Tuxedo Black, and I used the matte black dots from the annual catalog. And just a bit of the paper on the inside. And then this one, um, basically the same, stamped in real red. I did use Wink Estella on this and on this one, also on the whole record. And on this one, I only used the Wink Estella on the hearts and the center heart. And then it's I Really Like You. And I stamped that bar thing with Blushing Bride and used some retired hearts on the inside. I didn't use any on the second card we did. And the ribbon is from the annual catalog from the it's originally from the pampered pets suite or whatever bundle and then this one i went with the in good taste paper wood grain crumb cake the melody mary melody 3d embossing folder again magenta i'm sorry not magenta memento on crumb cake edged it with the stamp and write early espresso Edged it with the ribbon in Early Espresso and used these gems here, wonderful gems in the clear with gold and stamped You're My Favorite Song on the inside and used Early Espresso for that part. So that's it. A nice masculine card, sort of a younger looking Valentine type card. And one of these two will be a birthday card for someone coming up soon. <laughs> Hi, Chris. So the new products I used, the main feature here was the For the Record stamp set. And I used every single stamp in here for these three cards. Now, this one, we use clear embossing folder on basic black. Uh, clear embossing powder on basic black cardstock to make the actual vinyl piece. So I think that came out cute. I didn't get my ribbon on the best, but you know. Anyway, um, yeah, and I used the happy birthday, your awesome happy birthday on the inside of these. I really like you on the inside of these. You could use instead, you could use a happy Valentine's Day on the inside. But I like that. I really like you. But you could add then like Happy Valentine's Day or something under that if you wanted to. And then this one, you're my favorite song. So that would be nice to give to like your your male counterpart, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Next uh, next week I will not be going live, but I will be going live on the thirtieth. Um, and like I said, the stamp set and the Sweet Talk paper are not available right now. They'll be about available January 4th. The In Good Taste paper is available now on, on all the card stocks and inks. And um, all the ribbons I used are available now. Also, uh, this one that I ended up not using is not available until the new catalog in January. So we'll put that aside again. And I think that's it for me for tonight. I hope you enjoy it. I had fun. I'm glad you all joined me. It is cute paper. Um, and uh, watch the Monday Night Live if you missed it. It's It's got even cute. I mean, it's got other cute papers with the little sweet talk hearts in it. And the stamp set that goes with it, I don't have. But it's called Sweet Talk Bundle, I think, also. And I do have, um, it's last chance, remember, to get products out of the August to December mini. Uh, they're retiring, many of them are retiring at the end of December. So if you want any, now's the time to get them before they sell out, if, if they haven't already. And here's the host code for the month of December for any orders under $150 if you're in the United States. Thank you, Philomena. Yes, it's available for demonstrators, Jen. That's how I got it on my pre-order. Yeah. I'm just talking about customers. <laughs> okay, bye, Nikki. Bye, whoever. Honeybees, I guess. I'm sorry I missed her. 
Um, thank you, Chris, for saying thumbs up. Thank you, everybody, for the thumbs up. I've got nine people on now. I had 11, but the two left, I guess. And uh, 10 thumbs ups. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really enjoyed it, too. It was fun for me as well. So thank you. And I look forward to the 30th. And we'll do the Otter set, which will be a new set also. And the... Uh, oh, here's another idea, guys. I was going to use this, too, and I forgot. Um, you could use the days to remember out of the annual catalog and use the, you know, like use a little calendar on here or the month and just a day or something. All kinds of ways you could use it with this record. Uh, I think it's really cute. Anyway, I didn't use that. But we're going to use the otter with the gentle waves which will also be new and the existing um layering diorama dies on the 30th and also i'm gonna try and do quite a few different cards on that day so i'll probably maybe just do one with the otters one with calming camellia i may do one just with masks and things um and if i don't do the mask oh, actually i definitely want to use the wildflower path so definitely these two for the 30th and then i guess the first week in january what day will that be uh the first week in january probably this which will be the sixth i'll probably do the calming camellia uh and the and a, and a card with the mask and i don't know what else maybe something else so we'll see but definitely these two for the 30th of december okay and oh i know what else um we also have a slimline stamp bundle and envelopes now coming up in the new catalog so i want to use that on a card as well for the 30th um hopefully if we get to everything so otters will be first and wildflower path and if not with the slim line then i'll do that on the sixth also okay <laughs> merry christmas everyone yes and um let's hope 2022 turns into a better year right than we've had the last two years thanks everyone for joining me i really appreciate it and hugs peace and much love there we go all right i'm gonna say goodbye i love the snowflake next thank you merry christmas oh thank you chris i appreciate it all righty i'm gonna say goodbye thanks everybody again and i uh, hope to see you next time Right before the new year, maybe we'll have a little new year party thing. <laughs> okay, bye for now.